On the crime beat now, more arrests in Carter County connected with an April cockfighting bust. Today, News 12's Garrett Stringfellow spoke with an activist, an animal rights activist, about the persistent problem of cockfighting in Texoma. Unfortunately, there are fighting arenas that still operate in Carter County and in other counties in uh, especially southeast uh, Oklahoma. But it's still happening on a scale that is deeply disturbing. Last week, seven more men were arrested and booked into the Carter County Jail for being a spectator to a cockfight in connection with an April bust in Wilson. 22 years ago, voters in Oklahoma overwhelmingly passed a ballot initiative to make cockfighting and associated activities a felony, and it's a, a misdemeanor to be a spectator. Wayne Paselli is the president of the animal rights group Animal Wellness Action, and he says that stopping cockfights not only stops animal cruelty. Cockfighting is a barbaric practice where roosters have knives or curved ice picks called gaffs affixed to their legs, and they're placed in a pit, they hack each other to death, and then people gamble on the outcome. But it also serves to stop other dangerous activity. These animal fighting crimes are commingled with illegal immigration, money laundering, narcotics trafficking, illegal gambling. When you bust a cockfight, you make the community safer. And he says that arrests like these from the Carter County Sheriff's Office are crucial to sending the message that cockfighting will not be tolerated. And when they see that people are apprehended, arrested, uh, doing jail time, fined in a serious way, then others will get the message that this is no longer tolerable in Oklahoma or any other part of the United States. In Carter County, Garrett Stringfellow, News 12.